Do you not yet understand? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers in Christ. Good morning. Today is Valentine's Day and love is in the air. So it is only appropriate that I talk about love. However, I will be speaking of love from a slightly different perspective than we normally do. The theme of my reflection, disappointment, is a shadow of love. Have you ever been disappointed in someone? Has someone ever disappointed you? Have you ever been disapp disappointed in yourself? Anyone who has ever loved would know that disappointment, pain, heartbreak, these are part of the experience of loving. But these will pass away and of course, if the love is true, it remains. The insight I bring us today is um, for us to notice that when we experience the most painful disappointment is when we love the most. The pain from our disappointment is not caused by the magnitude of the offense suffered, but by how much we love and trust a person, regardless of who the person may be, even oneself. Take a moment to think about this. So, when next you feel great pain, the great pain of disappointment, think about this insight. Disappointment is a shadow of love. In the first reading of today, we can sense the great pain and disappointment that God experiences at His creation because they are not living as He desires. We have been reading from the book of Genesis and we saw how Adam and Eve disobeyed God and yesterday we saw how Cain killed Abel. Now Adam and Eve had to be sent away from the presence of God and Cain has to suffer for his sins. This situation saddens God, it breaks the heart of God because God created us to enjoy creation, not to suffer. He trusted us with the care of creation. This is how God shows that He loves us. Nonetheless, God is disappointed because we bring suffering upon ourselves through sin. The pain from this disappointment is great because His love is great. So He decides that He will destroy the world. He decides that He will destroy everything He has created. Of course, when we experience disappointment, the the best course of action is not to destroy the world. Um, however, we see this anthropomorphic aspect of God in the Old Testament um, come out. This is how we normally act. And as we read on, we discover that, in fact, later on, God will promise that He would make this up to us. Rather, he sends us Jesus to teach us how to look and to show us what to life and happiness. So when we are disappointed at ourselves or others, we must see what lies deep in the root of our pain, namely love. Because in such situations, we must act in such a way as to heal this wounded love rather than destroy it completely. We must act with
pray for ourselves and for our loved ones at Christmas. That God may renew His love in our hearts and grant us the joy of His salvation. We pray for all who have given up on love because they have been wounded, greatly disappointed. We pray for God's healing upon them. We pray that God's Spirit may enlighten and inspire the heart of people all over the world today, especially young people, that they may celebrate love in a godly way rather than in a way that will distance them from the love of God. We make our prayers through Christ our Lord.